Hey guys, I have an event coming up in about three weeks. It is my senior ball. I'm in college, about to graduate. We have a dancey thing. It's basically like prom, but for college. And I'm pretty happy with where my body is right now, but my dress is fairly form-fitting and I just, I wanna, just, I want it to be perfect, you know? So I just wanna give my body a little push, just a little bit, just a little tiny shove just to make sure that I will be lean and look as good as possible. So I thought this would be the perfect chance to run my first little mini experiment on my body and see how it responds to intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting is something that I have read quite a bit about, done quite a bit of my own research on, and I basically almost do it anyway with my schedule and everything, but I've never committed to following that eating pattern. For those of you who don't know what intermittent fasting is, it's where you eat for a certain amount of time and then you have a certain amount of time that you don't have food. So the one that I'm going to follow is the 16-8 split. So you fast for 16 hours and you only can eat within an eight hour window. Now, if that sounds a little too crazy, keep in mind that a lot of those 16 hours are spent sleeping. So it's not like I'm just sitting around not eating for 16 hours. It's been shown that there are a wide variety of benefits that come from intermittent fasting, including a drop in blood insulin levels levels, which helps with fat burning. The levels of human growth hormone increase in the body, which facilitates fat burning, but also muscle growth. And the body also initiates certain cellular repair processes that make stored fat more accessible for use for energy and also help clear waste out of cells. Some other benefits include improving insulin resistance, which reduces blood sugar levels, which reduces risk for type 2 diabetes. It can also potentially be beneficial with heart health. It has been shown to potentially reduce risk of cancer and developing Alzheimer's. And it can also also reduce inflammation in the body. So as you can see, there are not only weight loss and fat loss benefits, but also general health benefits. So I'm really excited to start trying this and see how my body responds. So like I said, I'm doing the 16-8 split for intermittent fasting. There's also splits where you can go 24 hours without food, um, or you can eat a large meal one day and then eat smaller, like very small meals for another few days. There's a lot of different ways to do it. I'm doing 16-8 because I think that's gonna work best with my schedule, but there are still a few factors that make it a little bit difficult for me to stick rigidly to a specific time for this split. As a college student, my classes start at different times and I am the kind of person that has to work out first thing in the morning before eating because my stomach just does not, is not happy if it has any food in it or any water in it whatsoever when I exercise. So I get up, go to the gym right before class, and then I go to class. Since my classes start at different times, my gym time starts at different times, but I wanna be able to take my protein shake right after I finish the gym. So my first meal of the day is going to be at different times throughout the week. So that's totally fine. I'm just gonna make sure that when I finish my eating period, I will have 16 hours before my next feeding period. So if I know that I'm going to finish at the gym at 2 p.m. tomorrow, I will make sure that today I stop eating at, what would that be, 10 p.m.? Is that 16 hours? Yeah. And let's say my first meal today was at 2 p.m. and I know that I'm going to finish the gym at 1 p.m. tomorrow. So today I will have to shorten my eating period by an hour so that I only eat for seven hours so that I finish at 9 p.m. so that when I eat again at 1 p.m. it will have been a 16 hour fast. So basically I will make sure to have at least 16 hours between eating periods, but my eating periods may be shorter or a little longer than eight hours. Intermittent fasting has become fairly popular lately as a dietary scheduling device, I guess, because it's not really a diet. You still eat like you normally eat, just in a shorter time period and longer times not eating. But I figured I would vlog my process to show you guys how I go about it, what the journey is like getting into it, um, how I feel doing it, and how my body reacts. So today is day one of my intermittent fasting. I've been kind of trying it the last few days, but I've cheated like all of the days. So today is the day that I'm committing to it. It is Easter, and last night I finished eating at 11 p.m. It's currently... 3 p.m. so I've gone 16 hours so I can eat now if I want. I think I'm gonna wait a little bit because I wanna do some yoga or something. Um, so I will just have either a shorter eating period. I don't know what time I'm going to the gym tomorrow. So I'll figure that out and figure out what time I have to stop eating. But I think I'll eat in a little bit, make myself some yummy food and keep you up to date. And before we completely get into this process, give this video a thumbs up if you have ever considered intermittent fasting and are interested in following this journey. And let me know down in the comments if you have done intermittent fasting, how it went for you, why you still do it if you do, why you stopped, if 
you don't do it anymore or if you want to do it and haven't let me know what's holding you back and with that being said I hope you guys enjoy this vlog and get something out of it let's do this <laughs> It is day three of intermittent fasting and I am just sitting here on my floor. Don't really know why I'm on my floor. I wanted to change the scenery from my desk and I am reading my personal trainer manual because I am studying to get to my personal trainer certification. And I'm also chugging a bunch of water. I have been tracking my macros the last few days because this whole experiment would kind of be pointless if I didn't keep all the other variables consistent. So I'm keeping my calories consistent and my macros consistent. Um, and I have found that trying to squeeze all of my calories into an eight hour period has made me very full during that eight hour period. So full in fact that I cannot drink the amount of water that I should be drinking during the day, during those eight hours. So what I've kind of started to do is just eat during those eight hours and then just chug a bunch of water when I'm in my fasting period. And it seems to be working. And like, obviously I'll drink like if I'm thirsty um, during the eight hour eating period. But other than that, like I've kind of devoted my hours after eating to getting my required water intake in. So far it has been going pretty well. I have not cheated, go me. Um, and I found that it's actually been very helpful to keep myself from mindlessly snacking at night because that is something that I am very guilty of. I eat when I'm bored. I eat when I'm studying because I want something else to do because I don't want to be studying. I want to be eating because food is good. But like, for example, I just went down to the kitchen and there were Rice Krispie treats with peanut butter and I was like, oh my God that looks so good because we never get gluten-free desserts at the house and Rice Krispies are now gluten-free, pro tip. But uh, I was like, wait, nope, my eating window is closed. I cannot eat these because if my eating window had not been closed and I could eat them, I would have eaten a lot. I tend to do that. Is really bad but I'm hoping that if nothing else changes in my body that I'll at least get out of the habit of eating mindlessly and eating when I'm just bored and actually very full and don't need to eat. Today is day five and tonight we have a senior event at a bar and usually I'm not really a bar kind of person but all of our events have been when I have had class because they've all been Thursday nights and all year I have had class on Thursday nights so I haven't been able to go to like anything and class tonight was canceled so I want to go hang out with my class so I'm gonna go to the bar and I have budgeted one drink into my calories and the only thing is I need to stop consuming calories by 10 p.m. so that I can start eating at 2 p.m. tomorrow but uh, it's 9 15 right now so I'm gonna have to get to the bar order my drink and like chug it but I'm gonna make it work I'm gonna make it work. This intermittent fasting thing is gonna work. So tonight did not go quite as planned. Um, I went out, I had a drink, then I came home, and while I was at the bar, I, I didn't feel any of the alcohol. And then I got home, and I was like, oh hey, I'm a little tipsy. And I was like, I gotta get work done, and I can't get work done when I'm a little tipsy. I didn't mean to get tipsy. I don't know what happened. My body was just like, wee, alcohol. Um, I sound like I'm drunk right now. I promise you I'm not. It's been many, many hours since I returned home. But I needed to, to fix the uh, tipsiness situation. So I had an apple. I, I, I don't know if that's supposed to help, but that's what I did. And I thought that was gonna be it. That was at like 11. I was like, fine, I'll just eat like an hour later tomorrow. It's all gonna be good. But then, just stuff happened. Life happened. And I was not having a good time. And uh, I was just, I was, I was struggling a little bit. My friend came in my room and she saw me struggling a little bit. And then she was really nice and she gave me a hug and then she left and then she returned with Easter candy. And uh, she gave she gave me some chocolate, and I I ate some of the chocolate, cause I was a little sad. So uh, that was at 1:30. So looks like I'm not eating until super late tomorrow. Although I don't have to be anywhere or do anything tomorrow. So theoretically, I could just sleep for like 12 hours, and then I would only have to. Let's see, it's been almost two or three hours since I ate, so I could just sleep 
through my fasting period, that might work. Although, my productivity would probably be really bad. Because you can't be productive when you sleep. Sorry, I'm rambling. Because I'm kind of tired. Because it's almost 4 a.m. Um, but yeah. Slight, slight setback. But I'm not going to count it as a setback if I can still fast for 16 hours. Because the whole point is to fast for a certain amount of time. Not to try to squeeze your eating into a certain amount of time. If that makes sense. The benefits from intermittent fasting come from the fasting period, not from the shorter eating period. So tomorrow I'll probably just have to have a much shorter eating period so that I can get back to a normal um, eating schedule so that I don't have to eat super late every single day. Um, but I have really no problem shoveling food into my face. So <laughs> that shouldn't be much of an issue. So it's day 13 and there's not much to report except for the fact that I think the one benefit that I have noticed is that when I wake up my tummy is more consistently flat. I don't wake up and like feel bloated or anything. Um, but other than that I've kind of felt the same. It hasn't been too difficult to um, stick with the fasting. There was once that I broke my fast because my friend came into my room and gave me chocolate again. She's just out to sabotage me, I think. That following day, I don't know if it was just because I had a snack in the middle of the night, but I wasn't as hungry during my eating window, um, which made it harder to get in the amount of calories that I wanted to. But other than that, like, it's been going well, but I haven't noticed any significant changes other than my flat tummy in the morning. And I guess it has obviously significantly cut down on my late night snacking. So I think it's much easier for me to stick to the calories that I want to hit for the day because I can't eat outside the window and trying to fit everything into the window makes me very full. Um, so it has been easier to stick to the calories and macros that I want to consume for my goals. Senior ball is in one week from tomorrow. Um, so maybe I'll get some benefits by then, maybe not. If not, oh well, I tried it. Okay, major intermittent fasting problems time. I'm supposed to stop eating at like 10 p.m. tonight so that I can eat at 2 p.m. tomorrow, but I'm going to a concert that starts at 8 and goes until at least 10, so I won't be able to eat between 8 and 10, so I need to eat before the concert. It's like 7.30, and I just crammed like 700 calories into my tummy, and I'm trying to, I'm trying to wear this cute little crop top. But now I look pregnant. Like, okay, okay. This is what it would look like normally if I weren't totally sucking in and flexing, but if I want to relax, this is what I look like right now. I'm so full. Ah! Just praying that the food digests quickly so I don't have to keep, like, sucking in my tummy because it's, it's not, not comfy. But, uh, yeah. Gonna go have a fun time whether or not my stomach gets back to being flatter or not. Hello, so it has been a few weeks. Senior ball happened, it was fun. However, I got sick like three or four days before senior ball. That part, that was not so fun. And then I have been sick like for the last three weeks and it's, it's, it, ugh, it's been a disaster. I stopped intermittent fasting because fasting is a stressor on the body and being sick is a stressor on the body and I wanted to recover as quickly as possible so I wanted to minimize the stressors on my body. But I do really want to get back into intermittent fasting because I really loved it. One of the most immediate benefits that I noticed was how much leaner I felt, especially when I woke up in the morning. Uh, my stomach was just more flat and I could see my abs and it was it was kind of fun. Also, as I said a lot, it really helped me cut down on my late night snacking because that's just, that's just a really bad habit of mine that I'm really trying to break. One of the cooler things that I experienced while intermittent fasting was the increase in my awareness of my hunger levels and I could tell the difference between being full being really disgustingly, grossly, painfully full, being like just wanting food but not being hungry, and then being slightly hungry um, but not really needing food, and then I could tell when I actually needed food to fuel my body. And since then, I have had a much increased awareness, so it carried over past the intermittent fasting. One of the other benefits that people talk a lot about is increase in mental clarity, and I definitely experienced that. Before I started intermittent fasting, a lot of times on the weekends when I didn't have any place to go until like 6 or 7 p.m. for dinner or whatever, I would wake up, crawl out of bed, sit down on my desk and just start working and I wouldn't eat until like 5 or 6 p.m. and I just did that because I was able to be more efficient and I noticed that whenever I did eat after that my productivity decreased and 
doing intermittent fasting, I finally made that connection that being in a fasted state allows me to be much more productive. But overall, 10 out of 10 recommend. Just a few precautions if you're a woman especially, um, fasting can kind of set your hormones out of whack. So if you start doing it and it's messing with your body, like just stop. It might not be for you. Also, it is a stressor. Just keep that in mind. So if you have a bunch of other stressors going on in your body that's impacting your body negatively, intermittent fasting can also add to those negative effects. And so it might not be the best idea. But the great thing with intermittent fasting is that it doesn't have to be done every single day for the rest of your life to get benefits. Like, it's not like the ketogenic diet where if you slip up one day, it throws you out of ketosis. With intermittent fasting, you can do it intermittently and it doesn't have to be every single day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and maybe learned a little, little something from it, or a lot. That would be cool too. Give this video a thumbs up if you did like it. Comment down below about your thoughts on intermittent fasting, etc. Subscribe if you want to see more. I'm going to be trying a bunch of other cool fun stuff. Next I might do the elimination diet, although I don't know, not, not sticking myself to anything yet. But yeah, subscribe if you want to see more and I will see ya soon. Hopefully I won't get sick again um, and I'll be able to post more frequently. Yeah. Bye bye.